All right, everybody, welcome back. Bearded Drums here, your personal drum nerd. So I've got something very cool to share with you today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. So in today's video, I have something very cool and something that was very fun to share with you. You hear me talk about my drum friends, all of the guys that live in the area near me all the time. And I still, to this day, say that I'm very lucky, not only that I have as many drummer friends that live around me, but that we all really get along together. And this is very important because not only is it great to hang around other drummers, but you can learn from them. You can share ideas. There are endless options when you do have other drummers or percussionists that are near you that you can hang out with on a constant basis. So to make a long story short, I had one drummer friend that wanted to come over to the house with another drummer friend of ours and kind of do a shed session. At the same time, I had Cedric, who's been in another video I've done, wanting to come over and drop off a new Sabian symbol for me to review here on the channel. And at the same time, I had my other buddy who's been in videos, Jarrett, who was coming over the house to do a little piece for another film project I'm doing. And I thought, since I have four drummers plus myself here in the house on the same day, I might as well set up a whole ton of drum sets do a big shed session, and put it all on camera to share with all of you. So this all happened yesterday. Jared got here early to do his little interview section for another video about 11.30. And by about 12.30, I had the rest of the drummers showing up to the house. So the next clips you will see will be time lapses of Jared and I setting up some of the kits. And we'll progress through the day. You'll see what went on, some of the jamming that went on, and all of the great footage I managed to capture.
So as you can see, we really did have a great time. Most importantly, we're all friends. We got to hang out together. And another cool thing, and that I think is very particular to my group of friends, at least in the area in which I live, we don't have to worry about egos. Pretty much everybody that was in the room was about on the same playing level as the guy next to him. So there was never a worry about somebody showing you up, making you look bad. We all were just having a really great time and kind of feeding off each other as the day went on. And of course, this is very important because if you're comfortable around the guys you're playing music with, you will play that much better and you'll never have to worry about things like self-doubt. So again, I'm very lucky to have great friends like this that come over all the time. And I would put this to you. If you have drummer friends in the area in which you live, get them together. Get the drum sets out. Start playing with each other. You'll learn something from them. And likewise, they will learn something from you. And if you can't play, like say you don't have an area in which you can play your drums, do like we did. When we were done, we all went out to dinner together. If that's all you can do, just get your drummer friends or really any musician's friends and go out, hang out, maybe grab some dinner if you can't necessarily play live together. So I really hope you enjoyed that. It was a very fun day. I really just wanted to share that super fun day with all of you. And remember, if you want to stay up to date on the latest drum gear, pick up tips and tricks, and do little things like we did today, consider subscribing to the channel, and remember to hit that bell notification so you know instantly when Bearded Drums comes out with new content. So get out there, find your drummer friends, get to playing, and I'll see you on the next one.